ANN is at the Sebring Light Sport Aircraft Expo 2010. We asked folks what is the greatest obstacle to getting involved in the light sport aircraft market? Price. LSA was supposed to be the get in at the bottom like home builds. People build home builds because they can't afford to buy production aircraft. Production aircraft, Cessnas, quarter of a million dollars. Your general aviation pilot, your weekend sport pilot, is not into spending a quarter of a million dollars for a production aircraft. Now, some of the ones that they're selling now, fully built, ready to fly, $125,000, $135,000, that's still outside the realm of appreciation for a light sport pilot. So those that can afford Cadillacs, buy Cadillacs. Those that can't, try to build them. Well, right now it's the economy, but uh, as that improves, um, I think as the word gets out more and more and um, the manufacturers become more and more on the market that uh, more people will be buying. I think they think it might be more difficult than it really is. Um, it's time commitment. You have to commit to it like anything else. If you want to be a good golfer, you have to play two or three times a week. If you want to learn how to fly, you should fly at least two hours a week. One hour will do it, but it'll take a little bit longer. But it's commitment. It's a mindset. And then just enjoying it. You know, really, really just getting out there and, and trying it. It's a lot of fun. It really is. If you own a Cirrus today or if you are considering the purchase of a new or used aircraft, consider this. Avidyne, in conjunction with the country's leading Cirrus sales and maintenance facilities, has launched the G3R9 program that combines the purchase of a late model, low time Cirrus aircraft and the addition of the Avidyne Integra Release 9 avionics suite for much less than you may have thought, and certainly much less than purchasing a brand new aircraft. G3R9, combining the best airframe, best engine, and best avionics for the best value. Oh, the greatest obstacle I see getting into LSA, obviously, uh, if they were free, everybody here would have one. So it's, it's uh, coming up with the correct financing for, for yourself, you know, however you can uh, negotiate that. And uh, that's, that's, uh, that's it. Well, I, I think it's definitely prices. I think everybody's going to say that. Uh, when they first came out with LSA, it was supposed to be a lot cheaper to get in, but it's turning out not that way. It's a little cheaper to get a sport pilot's license, but the airplanes are pretty expensive. So I think that's the biggest obstacle. I, I think it is, a, one, there's, there's getting to be so many of them now. There's more, and, you know, and I, you know, your selection, you get, I mean, which is good for you, there's more to select from. But if you, know, if you started like me, not knowing anything, I mean, you still have to figure out exactly what you want to accomplish with, with the airplane to start with. And then and if you do that and then go from there, I think it makes it a little bit more straightforward to do. The initial cost. Yeah, the acquisition cost for the airplanes, uh, as well as the ratings, everything's getting to be pretty expensive these days. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at CirrusDesign.com. I think the biggest obstacle right now is money and being able to buy an aircraft uh, and maintain it and getting certified with uh, people's busy schedules. Um, you know, a lot of the aircraft, 50 to $300,000, starts to get a bit expensive uh, for something that you'd probably use two or three times a month? Well, for me, it's easy. She's at home. It's my wife. Your personal banker? <laughs> my personal banker, and, you know, she's a great influence. <laughs> well, of course, one's going to say money, but let my, let my wife answer that one. Robbie? Money. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the biggie. Yeah, that's probably true, you know. And uh, again, it, it is, does make a difference that you can uh, fly under conditions that are not as uh, uh, strenuous for getting um, uh, qualified to fly. I think the other part of that, too, is the, the standards in small aircraft are very known to everyone very proven to everyone, and so there may be a little reticence still in buying something that's a little bit newer.